Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to present you a gorgeous knife, as usual on this channel. A knife made by Jean-Noël Buatois, a French knife maker and blacksmith. He's a really interesting blacksmith first of all, because he developed his own style of Damascus. So don't ask me how he did that. Maybe uh, Damascus experts will be able to explain it, but it is just gorgeous. Very unique and very beautiful. So this is an integral he made. Here is another knife, um, which is the same design as the one I'm going to present you, with Damascus inlays. Here is another fixed blade, and with um, a skull integrated here. And here's uh, a sword he made, with again this amazing Amazing Damascus. Really, really beautiful. So yeah, let's take a closer look to the knife I've got here today. It's a backlog folder with a Damascus blade that he forged himself. And it's a collaboration with an engraver who did the inlays just there. The size of the knife is very traditional. It's a 9 cm blade for an overall length of 20 cm. We've got a steel base with these inlays right there, custom pivot, and this Damascus blade, and the mechanism of the back lock, which is integrated on the back of the knife right there. So very, uh, very interesting uh, design overall, with above that this amazing Damascus, with a very, very fine pattern. It's so detailed, it's just amazing. It's a flat grind with um, a swedge on the top over there and a very discreet um, cut right there for uh, the opening. The handle so it is made of steel and we've got these beautiful um, inlays that are done with the Maki E technique. So it's um, a Japanese laker technique with uh, sprinkled with um, a gold powder and it gives this amazing look. So made by Nathalie Roland Uckel. Absolutely gorgeous. First of all, I just love the overall design. I love the um, the association of colors. Yellow and black always work really well for me. And um, I think uh, Jean-Noël Buatois' work really did bring this masculine look, a very tough look with this um, uh, a Damascus that is very uh, uh, contrasted and very aggressive with this uh, pivot. which brings a very modern look to the overall knife. And Nathalie Roland Uckel really did bring this feminine touch on the handle. I think both men and women will really like this knife. What I also like is the finish on the frames. It has a bit blasted finish, but it's extremely fine and very um, it's, it's a very unique bead blasting look. I asked uh, the maker about it. He did his own bead blasting mixture and it has like coconut fibers in it. So it takes a long time to make, but it has this very, uh, very unique finishing. It's almost like velvet the way it, it feels, first of all, and the way it reflects the, the light. Very, very interesting. These flowers, I forgot how you call them in English. You'll have the name right there. But they are just beautiful. Very, very detailed. I'm not even sure the camera will be able to catch all the details. They are different on both sides. But just as gorgeous. So there you have some details on the button of the backlock which bring 
some grip if you want to close it like that. You can also close it by pushing it like that to unlock the blade. And it makes the mechanism very discreet. It doesn't um, protrude on the top of the knife. You can really keep this uh, very interesting line which is larger on the back and goes finer until the, the tip of the blade which again is absolutely beautiful so yeah that's it guys i'm gonna keep it nice and short i really hope you enjoy the knife if you're interested in these makers i'll put their website in the description below and as always i'll catch you in the next episode thanks for watching bye bye